Hey viewers, welcome to another game of Schedule Pro Gamer. Today we are doing another Smite game, and this is a uh, solo ranked. Just, uh, well, <laughs> uh, because everyone is just solo queuing, it is just a random match. Uh, do I know anyone in here? It seems that I do not know anyone in here. So, who are we going with? We are going to go with the Neath, I think. Hang on. There you go. I'm going to see how she does in the laning phase. After the laning phase, I may actually switch up. I did uh, check the score on this one, uh, at least the gold, and well, uh, it is pretty close. It's much closer than the last game I did, which was, <laughs> oh my god, oh my god, I've never seen that much Odich in the game. <laughs> Holy crap. I think it went something <coughs> like 20 and 1. Uh, and then, well, they continued onward for a few minutes, but I think the score 20 and 1 or 21 and 1 came up at some point. Yeah, so that was uh, not a very close match. This one is going to be a little bit closer. I don't know who's going to win. I intentionally did not look at that. Um, I do know uh, that, well, there's a slight gold advantage for one of the two teams in the end, but that means nothing because if they... Uh, if they get basically uh, the, the uh, fire giants into an ace, that would result in kind of a big gold advantage in the end, but not in the rest of the game. So if they win a, ga uh, a fight over uh, fire giant and pick up the fire giant buff and then demolish the entire enemy base, yeah, there's that. Anyhow, we are starting off here with the movement speed buff. And as you can see, Pretty easy to pick up and it went to hell hell uh, well can really do well with it because well she has kind of a, a problem with dodging skill shots she's not really fast uh, well the uh, these two guys of course both of them have a jump which makes it very easy to pick up uh, well anything and we are starting off with the stun here the uh, Anahur is also starting off with a stun. So we have a double stun lane, although the stun on Anahur is kind of, well, uh, situational. You can't really stun just the target like you can with Neath. You have to uh, get someone into the uh, a wall or building or whatever. Some sort of terrain. And yeah then you get a stun but it's a good stun it's still a good skill it does a lot of damage it uh, uh, throws people back and well all in all it's a it's a really good starting skill I do recommend that one anyhow we're going to get a little bit of damage on the on her and well Neath not too worried about it doesn't really mix in the fight too much she's more concerned with uh, picking up minions at this point because at this point, that's all she needs to do. She needs to pick up minions, make sure she uh, she doesn't die to uh, to random harass. But Neath is pretty easy to play if it comes to uh, avoiding harass. Because, well, she has long range, she has a stun, she has a backflip, which is basically a jump. And come on, backflip. There you go. Could have backflipped through the wall, by the way. You can backflip through the Ymir wall, but not over a normal wall. So only, uh, well, walls that are made by enemies. So, well, yeah, the Ymir wall comes to mind, of course. And then the Thor uh, fissure comes to mind. Things like that. Things like that. So things normal people can't walk over. She can jump over them. And because of that, you can actually get away from Ymir pretty quickly if you pay attention. So um, yeah, the general tactic here with uh, with Neath is to go for these uh, for these weaves and then use the weaves to pick up the minions. Uh, that is, if you are alone. If you are, however, with the with two guys, then you don't need to. You can just auto attack all of the minions and save your mana for uh, for jumps and such. And once again, not getting the backflip up off in time. Uh, she should have realized that, that she needed to do that, and yeah, well, she got stunned and harassed, and it doesn't really take a whole lot of damage, but, or do a whole lot of damage, but still, it's, uh, 
not necessary. So we have four uh, health potions still left. Uh, plus, well, <laughs> we apparently went with the uh, meditation, which is something you don't see anymore because meditation is really just for the early game. In the late game, it doesn't do anything anymore. But well, it used to be uh, even more powerful and then, yeah, well, you would take it. Uh, everyone would take it basically because you could spam spells all day long. And as long as it as you had it, you would get uh, additional mana regen. And with additional mana regen plus the ability to just refill your mana pool, yeah, that becomes pretty ridiculously powerful. And that's exactly why they removed that uh, that regen. Once again, not getting the the backflip. I guess this time she wanted to just to be, uh, or she wanted to save the mana. Because she is pretty low, she is however healing up now. And are we, no, we're not going to shoot the arrow. We're just going to chillax in our lane. Not actually sure if she already used the, uh, what's it called? Yeah, that was bad. You either backflip straight away or you wait until it's done and then you backflip. And come on, no. I <laughs> uh, really wanted to to get that stun. The ultimate is of course a stun plus uh, well a decent amount of damage. It's not a huge damage, but if you charge it up and yeah, then it's it's a reasonable amount of damage. There you go, backflip over the wall. This time she actually pulled it off, which is not that impressive. But well, we haven't seen it doing that all game. So I'm going to have to wonder how high level this is. Um, also because I don't know anyone. And normally there's at least like one guy that is from one of the big teams. Because they're virtually always playing. And yeah, you see that guy with about 200 health. And even that cannot be sniped by the ultimate. That's how low the damage is. She completely whiffed her backflip there. And she deserves to die here, but she's not going to. Because, hey, she's Neath. Neath does not die easily. She completely deserved to die there, but they completely messed it up as well. They have so much CC and still they couldn't make it work. That is, uh, that's pretty sad. But yeah, well, that's the way it goes sometimes. And well, on her, of course, uh, getting out of there uh, before that, and that's why they went aggressive underneath. That's also why she needed to fall back. And well, she she basically deserved to die there because, well, she not only overextended, she missed her backflip, so her only escape. And well, that's really unacceptable. I mean, that's. That's how people die, and that's how, well, why she should have died. But well, they couldn't make it work, so whatever the reason, they, uh, well, it didn't happen. Anyhow, we get the uh, first blood there. Well, actually, blue team gets the first blood on Freya, which is obviously another lane, so we're not going to watch that. But we are going to pick up this. Come on. Yeah, there you go. That's how you do that. You plant a weave with the backflip, the backflip leaves behind the weave and then you uh, use your one, your stun to trigger that and it will take out the entire minion wave as well as stun everyone that is there. Well, it won't take out the front minions normally unless you actually aim it correctly and then the your arrow, so your stun arrow basically, uh, will go through the minions and there was the use of that um, uh, meditation but yeah your stun arrow will go through the front minions and then uh, the weave will explode doing uh, the same damage uh, well twice and that is enough to take out the front minions as well and then missing another stun there yeah the stuns are pretty hard to hit if you're running around and if your opponent is running around but well she still should be able to do it without too much trouble did we finally shoot no Still no ultimate used. 
And you know the ultimate is so useful at uh, just helping out the left lane here, for example. If they can uh, get the... Oh, this is not solo queue ranked. Oh, it is. Sorry. Oh, complete derp on my part. I was looking at this as if we we're in the right lane, but we are actually in the left lane because we're on the rev team. And well, the minimap doesn't reverse, even though it looks like it should. And oh, on her, nicely done. On her actually gets the follow up stun. And well, Neath finally landing something. And then, uh, well, Anur got the follow up stun. And Anur now throwing his enemy into safety. Holy crap, dudes! I don't know what happened here. So, this is solo queue ranked. Sorry, yeah. It, it did say so in the list where I picked the, the game. But I wasn't sure about it because, well, they, it, it derps sometimes. Sometimes there's just wrong information and yeah, I can't really help that. So um, the left tower here under attack and we are going to backflip and then use the, uh, the one to stun the minions once again. And obviously couldn't aim it through the minions there. So that was uh, how it's not supposed to be done. How it's supposed to be done, yeah I told you, is uh, you shoot the arrow through the first minions, exploding uh, the weave behind the first minions and then you pick up the entire minion wave. Because the back minions can be taken out by one explosion or one arrow and the front minions by two. So yeah, you need to do, uh, to do some research on where the minions actually walk and then place a uh, weave there and make sure that you're in range for those and blah 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 blah. Anyhow. It's not that difficult. It seems difficult in the beginning, but really it is not. But you do need plenty of, uh, of mana for that, which is why she is going for so many mana potions as well as the meditation. It's kind of time we went back, by the way. But yeah, she has full mana, full health, so she's probably not going to get uh, uh, back to her, well, uh, base, to her shop at any point. Uh, well, not any points soon, but yeah, as you can see, the, uh, the uh, her teammates as well as her enemies are getting pretty close to, uh, well, just getting more damage or significantly more damage. Nice stun here. She pulled off the very nice stun and finally, finally doing something useful here that I can actually compliment. But then she needs to get out of here. The nice backflip. And are we going to finish off this kill? Yes, we are going to finish it off. The stun goes off and the easy kill then on Hercules. Yeah, the enemy is completely overextending there. And they made use of that by just killing both of them. And well, Ra is here now. So we need to watch out for him. But we are going to just recall, I'm assuming. Come on, recall, you know you want to. No, she's healing up, I guess. <clears throat> and yeah, she should recall here. Because there's really nothing she can do. Yeah, she is going to recall. And we are going to buy our first items here. What's well, up for the starter item. And starting off with boots level three, which gives you a lot of, uh, well, uh, goodies. Uh, physical penetration, critical strike, attack speed, and physical power. And then going for the Devourer's Glove level 2. What would have been better is Devourer's Glove level 3 and Boots level 2. I think she kind of could have made that work. I'm not actually sure how much gold she would have needed for that. Uh, because, but, but it's pretty close. Uh, so if she could have done that, even with Boots level 1, that would have been better. Because stacking up those gloves is really important. And she has demonstrated... Uh, well, unwillingness to go back to buy items, and because of that, it's kind of crappy. Yeah, the the boots or the, sorry, the gloves need to be um, finished as soon as possible. And as Neath, you can get away with level one boots or even no boots for quite a while because of that backflip. And if you overextend, you you die anyway. So, yeah, what are we talking about? Who cares? Now, um, yeah, of course the boots do help you not overextend. It hel they help you run back out of situations and make sure that you, uh, well, you should be okay. So 
So yeah, we are going to go on this uh, enemy team. It seems that uh, they are just completely overextending here. Uh, yeah, no mana for Guan Yu. Uh, they just came in way too aggressively and that really didn't pay off for them. So yeah, the lane switch, by the way, has come in. I'm assuming you saw that. But yeah, they, uh, they switched lanes with the other guys because, well, the other guys couldn't make it work anymore. And here we go, come on. Nope, 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 not gonna happen. Not gonna happen at all. But we are going to, uh, to do some, well, just nice uh, poking and, well, just picking up the minions. It's all that matters for now. Once again, using that uh, meditation to get back up to full mana. And, well, the Ra is coming in from behind. But we are going to pick up this kill. There's the Ra ultimate. And we are going to indeed pick up this kill. And Anher might actually live. No, 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 not gonna happen. They are going to attempt to kill the Neath as well. But there is Thor. Thor is going to help out, I'm assuming. Yep, there he is. I don't know if he stunned the Shibalanke, but well, it did work out for them. Oh, the stun almost hitting. That was very close to uh, to being another kill. And now Hell comes in and Hell should be able to, uh, to do this. She should be able to kill, well, people even in turret range. And there you go, Shibalanke goes down to an eight now. I'm sure we're coming back at some point with the enemy team because I did see the kills so I do know how much they uh, they're going to get well the enemy team is going to get and our team is going to get I, I did my research this time at least as far as I can without spoiling myself on who's going to win but yeah I saw a lot of uh, numbers so I'm not actually sure if this is the one that I'm thinking about but it must have been close enough because otherwise I wouldn't have picked this one anyhow yeah the enemy team coming up here getting a free kill there um, he didn't die wow he didn't actually die okay or not <laughs> I really thought they got a free kill there the red team gets the gold fury nice attempt but not really working out for them And we are going to get the ultimate. No, didn't shoot it. Uh, yeah, I guess he was already too far away. She charged it up for a little bit too long. She could have just not charged it up at all and then she would have been able to, uh, to use it, well, just as a stun. And her teammates would have been able to follow up with, well, the honor stun and, uh, well, just the damage. But yeah, well, I guess she didn't see that opportunity. So anyhow, we're going to go kill this lane now. The Yeah, the pillar stun missed. Because obviously if you use that pillar, you can stun people against that pillar. So Anwar kind of brings his own terrain to stun people, which is very useful <laughs> in arena, where there is uh, well, a very limited amount of terrain. And therefore he brings his own. Well, not just because of that. It's also because people tend to stay in the middle of the lane and it is pretty complicated to land a stun in the middle of the lane. It can be done with your jump uh, combined with your, well, I don't know what it's called, javelin toss thingy, uh, the, the stun. You can actually get people from the middle of the lane to the uh, stunned onto the side walls and well we see that all the time so well definitely can be done anyhow we are back in lane with these two guys although I guess Hercules was here earlier Hercules is now in the other lane uh, I forgot whether oh no no, no. they they still switched yeah the uh, Ymir was here as well in the beginning I think So it was Ymir uh, Hercules. So yeah, they kept the switch up, even though it hasn't really worked out, but I guess, well, it hasn't worked out because they're too far behind. Well, it's kind of time that we start looking for um, the, 
uh, fire giant here. So, and if we can look at the fire giant and get that done, that would be awesome. But for now, I guess we're just sitting back and doing our thing. It's uh, it's 18 minutes in. They uh, the fire giant would be risky, but it would also be a very high reward because there's a lot of gold involved as well as a big buff. And the buff is of course very big the first time you get it because then you don't really have that much damage yet. And therefore the additional damage that you get is going to be better. So it's going to be more significant. I'm not actually sure how the buff works though. Maybe it's a percentage buff. I don't know, M most of the time it's a flat damage buff though in most games. just to make it more attractive in the early game. Anyhow, it seems that uh, we are just pushing a little bit too much, not really taking out any buffs in the jungle. And yeah, there aren't really a lot of buffs in the jungle on this side anyway. I mean, the two that are there, they have already been taken out. But yeah, it is uh, important to keep track of those, to keep track of those buffs. Also the, the damage buff, for example, is still up on our side. And that should never happen. That buff needs to go down as soon as you can. And are we going to get the stun off? No, once again, not shooting. Taking so many looks at that ultimate and then deciding not to shoot. Even though, yeah, it's not that much mana. And she has, uh, she has enough mana regen anyway. With the meditation and all. So anyway, uh, the enemies being aggressive here. And are we going to be able to finish off the Guan Yu? No, it seems not. Shibalanke doing some great defensive work there. Making sure they don't come in. And if they come in, they get damaged quite heavily. So they, uh, yeah, the, 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 the Guan Yu still reasonably, reasonably effective. Or, well, at low health, reasonably safe there. And effective because he still has a heal and um, still has a dash so he can still do stuff and that's exactly what he did there he um, he dashed onto the neath and well unfortunately for him that was all that happened <laughs> because he uh, he doesn't really have any items yet that uh, amplify his damage or that give him like a slow or anything like that nope just um, yeah, just the normal kind of defensive items. And I guess we are going to go for the push once again because Anher just arrived. And with the two of them, they should be able to kill, well, the Shibalanke, for example. But, well, no, they're too scared. They're too scared to do anything. There is the Thor. And are we going to land the double stun? Yes. No, well, not the double stun, but it did work out for them. And, well, we do have some enemies coming in here as well. I mean, uh, Hercules coming in. And, oh, come on. You can actually land this ultimate, right? Oh, she doesn't have her ultimate anymore. Never mind. So, here's Ra. Ra also coming in to do some damage. But, well... All in all, it's still 12 to 2. Holy crap, how are they going to pull this back? I'm really starting to wonder whether I picked the wrong game. But they, no, 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 they, they're not going to end up 12 and 2. They're going to end up 13 and 2. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I looked at it correctly, but yeah well we'll see we'll see maybe they will turn it around oh man i'm so wondering whether i picked the wrong game now because at 13 and 2 it's really hard to come back they're 6k gold behind and that is just a huge amount <laughs> yeah well, we'll have to see how that works. I mean, it is going to be either this game or... Yeah, no, I'm pretty sure they, they are going to come back. Maybe someone 
disconnects. I, I can't see that, obviously, but if someone disconnects, I can definitely see how that would work out. It is, however, getting close here on the Anher, but he is going to get away. And even the Neath is not in any danger. <laughs> oh, I really thought they were going to pick up two kills back here, but... Well, not so much, it seems. Neath doing a good job of just staying alive, or staying, well, healthy. And doing as much damage as she can to discourage people from tower diving and such. And once again, choosing not to go for the ultimate. And here goes Shiba Lanke with all of his damage, but <laughs> not getting the damage on Neath. He only landed one, uh, well, something, arrow, whatever that is. And that was it. The second skill didn't actually get to Shibalanke because she already backflipped. She does have the skill to backflip, apparently. So she does have the, uh, well, the reactions required to actually do so. Because in the beginning, I really was wondering... Because every time Ymir came close, she should have backflipped. Because every time he walled behind her, then stunned her and then did extra damage. And yeah, she should have just backflipped over the wall and be safe. But well, she took that. She took a lot of damage from that instead of just being safe. Once again, the Shibalanka not getting anything done here. And yeah, 14 to 2. I'm I'm seriously starting to wonder. Although we still have a little bit to play. I guess if the enemy team can really just group up, which they should have been doing already, because they really can't hold their lanes. Yeah, and this is what's going to happen if they don't group up. They're going to lose their lanes one by one. Because if you're 12 kills behind, yeah, there's pretty much nothing you can do about that. Except for group up. And uh, ultimate from uh, Guan Yu actually saving them for a little bit, but then yeah, they still came in, and they are not going to land the kill on Guan Yu this time. However, the Ra doing a little bit of damage, and are we going to be safe as a team? Yeah, for now, it looks okay. And Guan Yu is going all the way back. Guan Yu just in base healing up and. Um, buying some wards apparently because well those those ganks are never never fun They're a little bit fun for us but now getting ganks is really really sucky and as you can see just keeps on farming that's what needs does uh, of course she should have been with her team by now because pushing the lane over and over and over and over again is um, a League of Legends strategy that even doesn't work in League of Legends, but in Smite it really doesn't work. You need to make sure that you get the buffs and get, for example, uh, the uh, Gold Fury, Fire Giant, those kind of things. Because those are actually things that you can do while your lane is pushed and yeah, in the especially in the mid game, so not so much the early game, but from the mid game onwards, you get a lot of uh, of roaming people and if you have roaming people and you just push your lane like well like a silly bastard then um, yeah you're going to well regret that in short anyhow we have the blue ward up there so they can actually see this happening and Neath and Thor take quite a bit of damage Thor is going to get out of there, but the Neath is still in here. Oh, Hell is also still in here. And they may actually pick up some kills back here. Finally, finally getting another kill. It is now 4 to 15. And really, if they can make a run like the enemy team did. But yeah, they started off behind, so it's kind of difficult. But if they can pull off a run like the red team did. And that would be awesome. She needs to get out of here. She doesn't know that she uh, she's standing right next to a wart. But still, it is, uh, it's it's kind of silly to stay here. And yeah, that's what happens if you 
just run in one versus three. So we're going to go with on her here, who is going to run out of Gold Fury for now. And are we going to pick up Gold Fury and kills and such and everything? It's a 1 for 1 trade so far, but yep, there goes that guy. Let's go with Thor then. 60 16. We're really getting closer. I'm really still hoping that they actually come back from this. <laughs> because otherwise, I really suck at picking games. Man. I was so sure that I had the right game, but they already exceeded the amount of kills that were in that game. So I'm really hoping that I picked the right one. <laughs> Anyhow, it seems that um, that we are, however, going to well just go be safe, and we are going to go back to Nice. Oh, who's still dead? Oh, never mind. So we're not going to go back to Neath. We're just going to stay with the, the Thor. The Thor running through some wards. So they do know where he is. They do know he's coming in. And yeah, it seems that the wards are really starting to save this blue team. Unless uh, people just don't care and don't pay attention. Because that's what happened here. <laughs> Neath ultimate landing the stun but Thor really not paying attention and he is going to drop and going to not land the stun at all and he, yeah Hercules just walking out of there no problems no problems we are going back to Neath I'm getting a little bit seasick off of this guy because uh, well Thor is really one of those champions that uh, oh she missed the kill on the ward that was such an easy thing to have. Yeah, she should have landed that, but not enough reactions. That's a, that's a shame. And wow, we're actually coming back here. I'm uh, I'm totally impressed by uh, the amount of <coughs> kills they're getting in a row. I did not expect that to be possible anymore. <clears throat> but yeah, eight to sixteen now. So actually getting close here. And if they can pull this off, if they can come anywhere near the amount of kills that... Uh, oh man, they got another one and another one. If they, can <laughs> if they can get anywhere near the amount of kills or the amount of gold that this uh, red team had, that is going to be, well, a huge comeback. And they, they are going to, if, if they can, they're going to win because... That puts you so far behind in the mental game that you really have to wonder, like, what what just happened? The blue team is going to take out an... Uh, no, the red team is going to take out another tower, though. And, yeah, we do ha still have the fire giant going down because that is what we do with the uh, the blue team currently. Blue team getting that fire giant buff and therefore getting a lot of uh, gold from that. But most importantly, they get the the buff. The buff that actually equalizes the amount of damage on both teams now. Because, well, there's only 7k gold between them. And with 7k gold, yeah, you can see that if the, go the buff is worth, well, about 2k gold. Which is kind of a standard thing to, uh, to assume then they're actually ahead of the enemy team at this moment. The buff is uh, is about 2k gold worth of items, that is. So, uh, on each champion. And that means that you get 10k gold from just that, but only for a short period of time, of course, or until you die. So, yeah, only for a short period of time. Um, it actually might work out here for the blue team. And I'm really wondering about that. I'm really just rooting for them at the moment. I really don't know who's going to win. I truly don't know. But I'm, I'm rooting for the blue team here. Because they have made such a huge comeback already. And we are going to go into this part of the map now. Because, well, Neath is not following the fights at all. 
and we are just going to go with this uh, with with these fights because well that's where the excitement is the Anher is going to get out but is he going to get sniped yeah he is going to get sniped and yeah the Neath ultimate coming in way too late Neath wasn't here so it was a four versus five and yeah they lost three guys only hell survived that and we're going to pick up a kill on the tower and there is Neath. Neath might actually still die. I don't know. Uh, I Well, I really don't know her end score, so... <laughs> I really don't know a whole lot. But yeah, the Neath is going to die. They're going to take out the middle Phoenix. And holy crap, they're going to actually make this work. They are on the Minotaur now. And there is really nobody to stop them. Because there is just hell up. And nobody really cares about hell at this point. Because five champions still alive at full health. Sorry, four champions still alive at full health. They're going to take out the Minotaur in one go. And there you go. Wow, I'm so impressed. I did not expect that to happen at all anymore. I really thought I just picked the wrong, the wrong replay. But wow, yeah. I'm, I'm truly impressed by this. Holy crap, how did they give that away? Well, very nicely played, obviously, on the blue team. Especially the Ra with his few snipes on his ultimate. That was really huge. And I guess the enemy team just gave it away in their early game. They, uh, they gave away... Oh, let me put up this screen. Um, they gave away too many kills in the early game. Uh, especially, well, this guy. And uh, this guy, they, they really messed up that lane that we were in. That's why it seemed to go so well. Well, it was going really well. But really in the late game, they couldn't pull it together. And blue team just took over. I'm totally, totally impressed. Wow. Well, I hope you enjoyed. And I will see you next time. GG.